everybody welcome back to my channel thank you all for clicking on this video if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button that would be awesome my name is stephanie today we're going to be talking about the perfection what is it i don't know <laughs> what the fuck look at you are all right, let's go ahead and get on with this review. All right, so The Perfection. It is directed by Richard Shepard. It came out May 24th on Netflix. It is an hour and 30 minutes long. It stars Allison Williams, Logan Browning, and Steven Weber. It is considered a thriller horror movie. Before you come after me after seeing my last video, I don't want you saying that I'm contradicting myself because I said, you're never gonna see me reviewing a horror movie. I stand by that because I know, I know, I'm not about that life. This was not scary whatsoever, not at all. Trust me, if it was scary, I would not have finished watching that movie and you definitely would not be getting this review right now. So The Perfection has now been out on Netflix for about three weeks now. So I am super late in not only watching but now also reviewing this movie i was i nice i'm so and in general i'm just late uh reviewing like a bunch of netflix movies i have like i'm not gonna give any spoilers so you can go ahead and finish watching this well actually i'm only gonna give one spoiler but it's technically not really a spoiler like it is but it isn't because it came out in the preview and the only reason that i'm not giving you guys any spoilers because you know i love giving you guys spoilers but this is a movie that you really need to go in not knowing anything about there's so many moments twists and turns in this movie that you need to like not be prepared for and you just like really need to get that moment of <gasps> I do want to let you guys know um just pre-warning you guys i don't really find it's not really like I don't think it's really like spoiling. If you are squeamish, do not watch this movie. You're not gonna like it at all. There's a lot of moments that are like uh, for certain people. I was fine. I mean, I I can handle stuff like that. I'm not a squeamish person like that. But there's a lot of those kind of moments like in the first act and definitely in that last act that are disturbing for people it wasn't disturbing for me but i get it where people are like being disturbed by it you know i i rationalize that it is disturbing the images that are popping up and are happening uh the perfection was kind of like always be my maybe where i saw it on netflix recommendation netflix deal and i wasn't gonna watch it uh the poster itself does kind of give me the creeps and looks kind of like uh, and so I was just like no you're not for me but I had read something online about like the most disturbing films that there are out there and and that people are not able to finish watching them because they're just so like gruesome disgusting disturbing just like you know like everything and this movie actually was part of that list and I said hmm I must watch to see if I can go through it all. I must go through this journey and see if I qualify on being disturbed and needing to turn it off. And I wasn't. So I, I didn't see the preview prior to watching the movie. So in The Perfectionist, we follow two uh, cellist prodigies, uh, which are played by um, Allison and... Logan. Uh, Allison's character is named Charlotte and Logan's character is named Lizzie. Both of these uh, characters were in this very highly prestige um, academy for like very brilliant, gifted and like talented and like extraordinary uh, shallowest to basic basically they're like prodigies kind of deal. So uh, Charlotte was there first. Something happened and she had to actually leave and the same time that she was leaving that's when uh, Lizzie was coming around. So Lizzie kind of ended up taking like her place in this world of being the elite certain thing that happens with uh charlotte she's able to kind of come back into this world that she was once in and she was once like the best in her old professors it's able to get back into this world um meets up with them in china where she ends up 
meaning uh, Lizzie quickly form a friendship and then they uh, become lovers all within like a same kind of day. So I guess they just didn't want to do like the whole kind of like booty call kind of deal and they ended up spending the next day together and that's kind of where all the craziness happened. When we get to the whole spoiler alert kind of deal and <laughs> this is when Lizzie's character is kind of going like batshit crazy on the bus and Charlotte accidentally conveniently pulls out a freaking like butcher knife out of her bag or wherever the hell and it's all like you know what you have to do Lizzie very quickly because she's like freaking out because she sees shit happening to her arm grabs a butcher knife runs back to this rock and it's just like bam bam in 127 hours in but he wishes that he had that damn butcher knife because he took way longer fucking cuts off her damn arm kind of start off the movie thinking this is kind of like a jealousy kind of deal but it's like way more than that um, there's some really cool aspects to what they do with the film which happens i believe it was just in the first part and in the last act when it happens so basically you go through the story when you hit a certain mark it then rewinds starts off at a particular part where kind of like the whole plan is officially taking place you get to see kind of like a different vantage point of what really happened throughout the the scene and it's not like kind of like smoke and mirrors but you're like oh i really found that very interesting that was very clever of how they did it instead of kind of doing it like um a flashback memory where it could have happened in another film Allison williams in this movie all i'm saying is you just can't trust that bitch like oh oh there goes rose oh rose didn't die and get out she kind of reincarnated and became Charlotte over here. Her performance was absolutely perfection. <laughs> um, Logan Browning, um, her performance was actually really good as well. I really enjoyed it. She had like a really, a lot of tough scenes. The gruesome scenes really involve her. So, I mean, you got to give her props. Being able to pull that off and really make you believe that she's going through all this is like... It, so that second to last scene <laughs> me and Desiree literally we were laying down and when that scene happened both of us no joke got up and we're like what and I'm just like what the fuck <sighs> so yeah that happened this is why I don't want to spoil give you guys any spoilers because I want you to have that getting up from your seat moment because it is it's good and then of course that final scene is very it's disturbing um and I go like this because I think for like more normal people it would be very disturbing me and Desiree we were just kind of like oh my god it's kind of cool but oh my god so it's kind of in between i guess we're like kind of torn in between being like disturbing and like cool but in reality i guess it is more of a disturbing final scene but it was really good how they ended it you think it's one thing ends up being a whole other thing i feel like you're either gonna really like and enjoy this movie or you're just gonna absolutely hate it there may be an in between but i feel more so you're gonna be somewhere in in one of these two categories if you guys have seen the movie let me know down below what you guys thought about it you guys can spoil it for everybody i'm not doing it but with that said i'm gonna go ahead and end this video because i don't want to give you guys any spoilers i totally totally recommend you guys go and see this movie i think it's totally worth the watch don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you at concessions bye